Okay, so in order to pass this internal, you must find an intersection. And it would be really good if you could put it into context, because that you've been given the language for that. So I'm going to call this one equation 1, and this one equation 2. Now, how would you form the equation of the circle? If you knew the radius was 3, then that's x squared plus 9 squared equals the radius squared. So remember, you actually have to square the radius to get that number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sub my straight line into my circle. Okay? So I'm going to have x squared, because that's here, x squared plus. Instead of y, I'm going to put this in. So I'm going to have negative 2x plus 2. Now back into this equation, it's squared, so I need to square that. The brackets are important. Equals 9. So now we need to expand. So we leave the x squared there, and expanding these orange ones, I have indicated that it is safer, much better, to actually write it expanded, like so because that will stop you making silly errors. Alrighty. Now, we can simplify that. Uh, sorry, expand that now. x squared plus. What's minus 2x times minus 2x is 4x squared. And that's the f of foil, if you like. What comes after f? O. Whoops. O. o is the outside, so I go negative 2x times positive 2, so I've got minus 4x. What comes next? Um, we'll do pink inside, so that's this one and this one. Multiply them together, I've got minus 4x, and then my last is the 2 times the 2, I've got plus 4, and that equals 9. Alright, so we just move down a little bit, get a bit more room. So now we need to simplify that. So x squared plus 4x squared is 5x squared, minus 4x minus 4x is minus 8x, and my plus 4 minus my 9 equals 0, because I've taken the 9 to the other side. So that's going to be minus 5. Okay. Now I am going to write graphics calculator A equals 5, B equals negative 8, and C equals negative 5. So I go to my graphics calculator, and I go to equation, execute, and I go to polynomial degree 2. A is 5, B is negative 8, and C is negative 5. I get two x values, x equals 2.08 1 to 3dp or x equals negative 0.48. Now, what, how do they relate to my diagram? Well, we've got these two points where the x and y value is the same for these two equations. So this coordinate is going to be the 2.081 and this x coordinate is going to be the negative 0 0.48. Logically, I can see the radius of my circle being 3, that they kind of make sense. Those are only my x coordinates. I have not done enough to pass because I need the y coordinate. How do I get the y coordinate? I sub back into the easy one, and the easy one is the straight line. So. I'll do the working for that in a minute, but what I'll also show you is that if I go into graph, 
what I can graph is the top part of the circle. So if I look at the circle, how do I make y the subject? y equals 9 minus x squared and take plus or minus the square root. So here I've got the 9, I've um, minus the x squared, taking it to the other side, and then to get rid of the y squared, I've taken plus or minus the square root. Now my calculator can't do plus or minus, I can do half the circle at once. So I'm going to put my square root sign, then a bracket, and then my 9 minus x squared, and close my bracket, and that will give me the top half of the circle, and then I'm going to do the line minus 2x plus 2. I'm going to graph that. Now, I could go shift view window and decide that my y maximum, might, I might be better to have negative 4 and 4, just so that I can sort of see it a little bit better. I'm going to go g solve intersection. And so here I've got the negative... Uh, 0.48, so that one was correct, and the y value for this coordinate is 2.96, so I might as well try and pop that point on my very busy screen, so I've got negative 0.48 comma 2.96, so that is this point here, uh, that point there. Exit. Now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go shift, insert, and I'm going to put the negative sign there. Oops. I can't undo. Never mind. I'm going to have to do it again. I was supposed to insert. Uh, shift, square root, bracket, and what am I? 9 minus my x squared. Close the bracket. So it should have the underneath circle now. G solve intersection, and I've got my other point, 2.081, and negative, so that was 2.081, rounded, and negative 2.161. So that will be this point here. So I've got my answer with my graphics calculator. Okay. So what next? Given that this is an algebra assessment, I actually need to show my working. So I need to say sub x equals negative 0 0.48 into equation 1, y equals negative 2x plus 2 to get y equals... And I don't actually have to work that out because I've actually got my answer was 2.96. Okay. And so the point, point of intersection is negative 0 0.48 comma 2.96. And let's just make sure that that works on our little calculator. You could check if you were really um, quite frightened that you're making silly mistakes. You can go minus 2 times our negative 0.48 plus 2 to get that same answer. So really belts and braces here. Now you have to do the same for the other x coordinate, which is this one here, so instead of this, you would write your 2.081, and instead of that, you would write this number, and instead of that, you would write that number. So you've actually got two points of intersection, because the straight line and the circle in the diagram actually intersect in two places. Now, in the context of um, the internal, it may be different. It may be that one of those intersections doesn't work. It's not valid. I don't know. I haven't seen it. Okay? Done.